In 1946, the United States and France had concluded a bilateral treaty for the provision of air services, so French airlines could carry passengers to the United States and American airlines could carry passengers to France. The agreement prohibited a change of gauge within either country. So, for instance, a French flight from Paris to Los Angeles could not change to a smaller plane in New York. The purpose of this provision was to ensure that airlines did not become de facto domestic airlines. In 1978, Pan American Airlines had a flight to Paris via London. They decided to change gauge in London, swapping to a smaller plane because the demand for passengers to London was much greater than the demand for passengers to Paris. France objected, and the matter got very heated. When the first of these planes arrived in Paris, passengers were not allowed to disembark. The United States commenced an arbitration process to resolve the dispute. Meanwhile, it implemented a restriction of its own, prohibiting entry into the United States for French airlines which stopped over in Montreal, in Canada. The arbitral tribunal ultimately decided that France had been wrong and that a change of gauge in a third nation was permitted. However, the real point of this case was whether the United States countermeasures were lawful. The court found that the countermeasures were valid and the use of a countermeasure turned an otherwise unlawful action into a lawful one. The tribunal found that countermeasures were permitted provided they were undertaken in good faith, were proportionate to the dispute, and represented an effort to resolve the dispute rather than an exercise in bullying. The tribunal said, It is necessary carefully to assess the meaning of countermeasures in the framework of proportionality. Their aim is to restore equality between the parties and to encourage them to continue negotiations with a mutual desire to reach an acceptable solution. It goes without saying that recourse to countermeasures involves the greatest risk of giving rise in turn to a further reaction, thereby causing an escalation which will lead to a worsening of the conflict. Countermeasures therefore should be a wager on the wisdom, not the weakness, of the other party. From this case we learn that measured, careful, proportionate countermeasures are permitted in international law whilst the process of formal resolution of the dispute is underway. Mm-hmm.